On Friday, October 28, 2011, Motor City Ghost Hunters accompanied James from 89X and some 89X listeners into the building claimed by some to be among the most haunted in Southeast Michigan. It was built in 1895. The building was uh, halfway burnt in the 70s and it condemned the building and a doctor bought it in a condemned con condition and he redid the whole building. And he put this basement in here. There was no basement. This, I never had a key to it, and it was locked for like the first year I owned the building. Mm -hmm. And then I finally popped it open one day, and I turned it into a, a room for my, some tools. And I don't know. You know I mean, I can't believe, I, I, I don't know. But it ends up being locked all the time. I have no idea how. We were busy one night, and we had a function in the room the next day, and uh, I had the bus staff. I said, before you guys go home, go in and set the room up. I said, okay. They checked out with me. I went back in to check the room, see if it was set, and it was completely stripped down. Wow. Hmm. So that was pretty crazy. There's been a few times where if you sit at the bar, you've got the mirror, and as you're, as you're sitting at the mirror, you'll see images behind you. I had psychics, some aura readers. I had there were seven of them here, and that's okay. where we found out about the spirits that were here. Okay, the little boy and the man. And if you see the turn there, that was where he hung himself. That's it. The other, the little boy drowned in the river back here, and that. But there's a lot, of, a lot of cool things about this place. I love it. It's home. So, what do you hope to find? Um. Some sort of evidence of something, um, whether it's you know EVPs or orbs in the camera. I don't know. Like I would like to experience something firsthand. Like if I'm in that the tool room, that the door's always locked, and you know I hear something, or even seeing something in the mirror in the back of the bar. I think that would be a cool experience. Just anything really. Like I've never actually experienced anything of the paranormal realm, so it'd be cool to actually just something happen. One investigative tool James used was the Ovalis, a digital voice box program with over 2,000 words with a readout display in which spirits are believed to manipulate in order to attempt to communicate. We've got our buddy James here with us. We're trying to uh, show him proof of your Quiet. existence. Quiet. Why don't we introduce ourselves to you so you know that we're, we're not here to harm you. We're just here to kind of hang out with you. Hey, George. George. George? Is your name George? Another piece of equipment used by paranormal investigators is the K2 meter, a device which measures energy, its strength seemingly indicated by a series light bar on the device. If this is the little guy, would you like me to go outside and get you a ball? I can get oh, you some toys. Oh, it just lit. Did you guys see that? Yeah. You want some toys? There's a okay. tricycle outside, too. I'll get you some toys, buddy. Porch. Porch? That's... You used to play on the porch, maybe? Yeah, close to the porch. Gravity. Gravity? You gonna make something float? That'd be really cool. You can Wouldn't throw the cool, ball guys? into the air. That would be really cool. Yeah. I would probably poop my pants. Porch. Portal. Portal. Yeah, that's a new one tonight. Is this room a portal? Be aware. Be aware. What do you need us to be aware of? Should we be aware of James soiling something? Yes, especially after you go from portal to beware. <laughs> Are you trying to warn us? What are you warning us about? Soil. <laughs> Did it just say soil? Yes. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Got goosebumps about four times when the, uh, <laughs> some of this stuff would pop in. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, I want to hang out with the little That's kids. Awesome. Those K2 meters were like, we'd be jumping up, um, teacher, up and down. In addition to digital recording devices which capture and record voices and sounds of a different frequency than ours, the simple flashlight is a useful tool used by investigators to understand spirit communications. What is the woman? I would no. say that's a good possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please turn the flashlight off for us? Well, I guess they work on command for the count of three. What One, think, James? two, this is three. Freaky. Very freaky. <laughs> Very freaky. And we got K2 hints. I'm getting like the craziest like deja vu too, I don't know why. We just want to talk with you and listen to whatever you have to say, so feel free to talk into any of our recorders. Do you understand us? If you understand us, can you turn off the flashlight, please, on the count of three? One, two, three. Thank, Thank you. you. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. So, James, before the night started, you said you had never experienced anything. Would you say you've experienced things now? Yeah, with the light going on and off, <laughs> as you ask it to, it's just unreal. Like even even before you said to the count of three, like if you you understand or whatever, turn it off. It already started to flicker right when he said, "Can you turn off the flashlight if you understand?" Right. And can you verify none of us are near the flashlight? Yeah, there's nobody near the flashlight. It's just sitting there on the floor, on that piece of stone, just right in the middle of nowhere. Like unbelievable. Oh, there oh, it goes again. Apparently it agrees with you. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Are you trying to show off for James? <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you. It's showing off. It's doing it on its own terms. Yeah. Oh, that's going for the case you. <laughs> yep. Are you trying to scare James? It's oh. working. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's working. Good job. It's working. If James soils himself, you're going to have to clean it up. Oh, it's going off. The K2 fears are going off. We've okay, already got James scared here. So turn off the flashlight again. And just, did it just go Thank brighter you. for a second before yeah. it turned off? <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. He likes you. Are you having fun with James? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad someone is. James, are you having fun? I'm having a good time. I have goosebumps all over. Like, I'm like, moderately freaked out right now. With this flashlight going on and off on command. <laughs> At you. Uh, yeah, and questions involving me and being scared. It confirms all of them. All right, turn off the flashlight for us, please, on the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, right on three. <laughs> oh, you guys want David Chuck to come out? Oh! I think that's a yes. Yeah.